Oh, it's that time again. Today we're going to be reviewing some more profiles on Skycrypt and seeing if anyone can compete with yours truly. We know how strong my profile is. It's really good. Although today there's a bit of a twist. We're going to be reviewing some of the top players profiles in my guild and seeing what they've got to offer. So let's get to it. Anyway, before we do get into the video, if you do want to enjoy the video and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Over 70% of you watching the video won't be subscribed, so you should change that. Also, you should leave a like on the video, it boosts the video in the algorithm and it also lets me know that you actually enjoy the videos. And finally, the Discord is linked in the description, you should join, there's really no reason not to. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video, I hope you all do enjoy. A few days ago, I uploaded a similar video where I basically reviewed some other YouTubers' profiles. And let's just say th the comments were interesting, some people were getting a little bit too aggravated and probably taking the video way too seriously considering it w we're in a block game. So for one of the profiles that I looked at, it was a very good profile, it was also on Iron Man, and I just failed to mention that. Um, and people were like, getting really, really, really annoyed. And some people, to be fair, were just pointing out that I missed it, which is fair enough. I also made a joke about somebody having two Storm sets, and that was just purely because I would never dream of having two Storm sets. And I understand you have one for left-click mage and one for right-click mage, that's fine. But I just have the coins, and I just thought it would be funny to make a joke, and people thought I was being serious, and... It was, it just wasn't good. So what I'm trying to say is these videos are literally just for entertainment. And they're not in-depth skyblock reviews, like they're really not. I'm putting that out there before we start the video. So if you're here for a really in-depth skyblock review, then this is not the channel to watch. You, you should really go somewhere else. And also cry a little less. Anyway, let's get into the video. This profile that we're going to be taking a look at is Toast. He is a guild moderator, um, so um, let's see what he's got. So he's got maxed out skills in taming, mining, enchanting, alchemy and runecrafting. Much better than me. A skill average of 48.58, which is very strong. A nice 181 mil in the bank. A full Divin set, which is very nice. A nice statutory Storm set. Notice he's not got two Storm sets. Now, this is what we're talking about. So what else have we got? We've got a Hyperion, which is, you know, casual as you do. Quite a decent amount of talismans, to be fair, and um, quite a lot of them recombobulated, so fair enough. And quite a decent set of level 100 pets. You really can't knock it. Also got the mighty Divin's drill. And by the looks of it, a pretty solid catacombs level as well, 32, it's harder than it seems to get to that. What do we have? So we've got level 9 Rev, uh, level 8 Spider, level 7 Wolf, and level 6 Enderman, so a very, very strong showing in the Slayers as well. And to be honest, some pretty good collections. All in all, a very good profile, much better than mine. So we're going to take a look at Cup's profile, he's moderator in the Discord. So we've got maxed out Taming, Enchanting, Alchemy and Runecrafting, um, almost maxed out Mining, so pretty good. Also, almost maxed out combat, so it's actually getting there. Uh, Scavenge of 46, which is pretty good. Got the statutory full Divin set. Almost a full Sorrow set, I'm not sure, where, not sure where his helmet's gone. Once again, we see another person with just one set of Storm Armor. Very nice, to be fair, he's got the Rising Sun set, very nice. Also, a Necron set with the Warden Helmet, very nice again. This is a, it's got, it's a very good, strong showing of armor, to be fair. He's also got a Scylla. An Atom Split Katana and so on. And honestly, he's not really got too far to go in terms of talismans either, like only four more needed. The mighty level 100 Scatter Pet and to be fair, another really nice showing of level 100 pets too. Also, he's got Catacombs 37, which is really good, I can't really complain about that. And in terms of Slayers, Zombie 9, Spider 7, Wolf 8 and Enderman 9, so very, very strong showing. And once again, the collections are pretty good, you can't really knock that. Um, once again, a very, very nice, strong profile. Next profile that we'll be looking at is Schmekale. He is actually, if we do slash G top, he's at the top of the guild at the moment. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name, but I've tried my best on that one. So he's got Enchanting 60, Runecrafting 25, both maxed out. The Scarbridge of 35, which is, once again, much higher than mine, and to be honest, very strong. He's got around about 50 mil in the bank, which is not too bad. Once again, Another person with just one storm set. Also a full Necron set. He's also got a Scylla, a Gemstone Gauntlet, and um, to be honest, I thought that was a Terminator at first, but it's a Rudin's Bow. Fair enough. And once again, 65 out of 78 Talismans is really not too bad. In terms of pets, it's a, it's a slightly smaller collection, um, but at the same time, it's, it's got pretty much all that you need. It's got a sheep, I assume, obviously, for Mage, and then two blue whales. Um, I'm not 100% sure why, but each to their own. And in terms of dungeons, he's Catacombs 35, which once again is, is pretty good. In terms of Slayers, he's a Zombie, Spider, and Wolf 7, Enderman 4. Um, in all fairness, um, this this really isn't too bad. Compare this to mine, and this is like amazing. And to be honest, in terms of collections, it's, it's not too bad. There's quite a few maxed out ones. Um, so all in all, 
maybe not as strong as the previous two profiles, but still very well-rounded, strong profile. When you compare it to mine, it, it looks like the best profile in the game. So before we do take a look at the next profile, I'm thinking the next video that I do similar to this, because this has almost become like a mini-series on the channel, I'm going to be taking a look at some of my viewers' profiles. So if you are interested in me taking a look at your profile and giving my expert insight onto what's going on, then you should leave your IGN in the comments, and also you should make sure that your API is enabled, because there were quite a few people that I was going to look at in this video, but their API wasn't enabled, so there wasn't really much that I could see. Anyway, back to the video. This profile that we're taking a look at is Dr. Stone, another player that is in the guild, and um, let's see what we've got. So, only one maxed out level, which is enchanting 60, but when we actually take a look at his other stats, mining 40, taming 42, combat 47, we're looking at quite a strong profile. A scavenge of 36.7, and roughly about 90 million coins combined. It is looking quite promising. We've also got a full golden set, a pretty nice frozen blaze set, a final destination set with the warden's helmet, a full sorrow set, a full shark scale set, also got this giant sword, this juju shortbow, this soul whip and so on. And once again a pretty decent showing of talismans and accessories. In terms of pets we haven't got anything that's level 100 but we have got quite a range of different pets um, so yeah really not too bad. And when we take a look at dungeons he's catacombs 34 which once again um, it is pretty strong. In terms of collections, um, to be fair, th there's quite a few maxed out ones. Um, so all in all, a very nice profile. Pretty strong and um, definitely better than mine. Once again, I feel like I'm going to say this a lot in this video. Next profile that we're going to be taking a look at is Cubost, another one that is in the guild. We've got maxed out skills in taming, enchanting, combat and runecrafting. Mining is getting there too with level 48. A scavenge of just over 40 and about 50 million coins combined. We've got a full Divin set, a full Maxo set, and also a full Necro set. In terms of weaponry, we've got a Scylla, we've got a Terminator, we've got a Soul Whip, and so on. When we look at Talismans, I mean, this is pretty good, to be honest. Almost all recombobulated, and um, he's almost got all of them too. So literally all of them he's got is recombobulated, so that's really good. And when we look at pets, he's got this Scatha, um, he's got this level 100 Ender Dragon, which is very nice, I'm very jealous of that. And to be honest, quite a varied set of pets as well and to be fair catacombs 43 is very good couple that with level 9 zombie slayer level 7 spider level 7 wolf and level 8 enderman that's a really strong showing and once again in terms of collections we have got quite a few maxed out collections all in all a very 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 good profile um to be honest probably one of the stronger profiles we've seen so far so the next profile that we'll be taking a look at is skinny's profile He's a long time member of the Discord and the Guild, and he's also an admin in both, um, so let's take a look at what the admins are doing. So he's got maxed out skills in taming, enchanting, alchemy and runecrafting. Also got level 40 mining, level 54 combat, and level 35 farming. To be honest, who can blame level 21 foraging? Like, it is so boring. Anyway, he's got a skill average of 42, which is very good. So a cool 95 mil, just in the purse. Unfortunately, we've not got the full API, so um, we're not able to see more. Um, but what we can see is a full Frozen Blaze set with the Diamond Head. This level 100 Ender Dragon pet with the skin on it as well. Very nice. And I'm very jealous of that to be honest. And a pretty good collection of pets as well. In terms of dungeons, he's Catacombs 42, which is obviously insane. And some pretty decent collections. In terms of Slayers, we've got Zombie level 8, Spider level 7, Wolf level 7, and Enderman level 7. Once again, a very good well-rounded profile. And the last profile that we'll be taking a look at in this video is 550s. He is an admin in both the guild and the discord, um, so let's see what we've got. So we've got taming 50, mining 60, enchanting 60, alchemy 50, runecrafting 25. To be fair, foraging 30, is, you can't really complain with that. Also combat 58, almost maxed out. That gives a scavenge of 46, which is ridiculous. So he's got a full divin set, a pretty much full sorrow set. I see a lot of people don't have the helmet, and um, to be honest, I've never really been that interested in mining or anything to do with that so i wouldn't really know if there's any point in having the helmet or not let me know also a full shark scale set a full necron set and also the rising sunset which is very nice he's also got a juju short bow an emerald blade and some other weapons too in terms of talismans and accessories we're looking pretty strong 69 out of 78 really isn't too bad and also a pretty nice collection of pets including quite a few level 100 ones in terms of dungeons, we've got Catacombs 32, which once again is pretty good. In terms of slayers, we've got level 9 maxed out zombie slayer, level 7 spider, level 6 wolf, and level 7 enderman, which is all very good. And the collections are pretty good as well, we can see quite a few maxed out ones. 
All in all, a very, very strong profile as always. In the meantime, I think I'm actually going to work on my profile in order to actually be able to somewhat compete in these sort of videos. It is a little bit embarrassing. But anyway, I hope you all did enjoy the video. And like I did say in the middle of the video, if you do want me to take a look at your profile potentially, then make sure to leave your IGN in the comments and make sure you've got your API on too. Anyway, that is going to be the end of the video. I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.